Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rebecca Kaur and I hope that you all guys are doing great. In this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about top 11 things that you should know about Kindle if you own a Kindle device or if you are planning to invest in one. In my previous two videos, I unboxed the Kindle OSIS 10th generation with you guys and in my second video, I reviewed it. So now after using the Kindle for almost 15 days, I'm here to talk about the things we should know about it. So without wasting any time, let's get started. The first thing that we should know about Kindles is Vocabulary Builder. It's one thing which makes me pick ebook devices over actual books. Because when you are reading, there are many times you come across words you don't know the meaning of and every time we don't want to go through the hassle of picking up dictionaries or looking through the meaning of the words in your phone. It's distracting. So make sure once you buy a Kindle, you go into the settings, reading options, and then turn on the vocabulary builder. This way, whenever you will look for the meaning of a word that you don't know the meaning of while reading the book, it will automatically get added to the vocabulary builder. They will have every word that you saw the meaning of in that particular book because every book has its own vocabulary builder, which is great because then you don't have to worry about which word was in which book. You can revisit the meaning and the usage of that word in that particular book and see if you have mastered it enough or not. Once you have, you can tap on mastered or you can even delete it from your vocabulary builder if you want. The second thing that you need to know about is social link. Now, this is something which is kind of mind blowing. So you go into the settings, you go on your account, and then you have this section which is called social accounts. There you have an option to link your Goodreads account with your Kindle account, which is from Amazon, of course. Once you are done linking, which I already am, it's a very simple process. You can just open your Goodreads app on your phone and then you will get regular notifications there about the notes and the highlights that you made in that book. There is a toggle called turn on or turn off which makes particular quotes or words that you want to view on your profile as public. So whenever someone will visit your profile, they will be able to see the quotes or the words that you most liked. And you can also review your books directly from your Kindle app and that review will show up in your Goodreads account. You can also add books to your Goodreads shelf and this is how your Kindle and your Goodreads will be in sync and that is something which I think is very beautiful for a person who reads a lot. The third thing that we need to know about is collections. This is also something which I really loved about this new version of Kindle. So for example, right now I'm reading Midnight Sun, which is the part of the series called The Twilight Saga. So now what if I want that there is this one collection called The Twilight Saga, I tap on it and then I view all the books that are part of that particular series. So let me buy one more book from the series so that I can create a collection. I have these books, but in a paperback format. I need to buy an ebook to create a collection of it. So now that the book is downloaded on my Kindle, I can go back to my library and then I can tap on this icon and then I can tap on create collection. Once I tap on that, I will get an option to name my collection. I'm going to choose Twilight Saga. And now there will be a list of all the books that I own in my Kindle library. I have to choose the ones that belong to this collection, which are only two, Midnight Sun and New Moon. Once I am done selecting, I can tap on done and the books will be added to the collection that I created. Let's go to the sorting and viewing options tap on collections and all the collections that i have made will be visible to me now since i only have one collection that will be visible to me and other books will be shown in the unnamed or ungrouped selection i can also create more selections like self-help books fiction books religious books whatever sort of collection that i want to make i can make collections on the basis of genres as well the next step that we need to know about is Kindle Web. A lot of people don't use this feature, but Kindle has a browser. So you can go on the Kindle Web and search for anything that you want to search. For example, just a few minutes back, I was searching for this particular thing. What was I searching for? 
alien invasion books but yeah whatever you can go on the bookmarks go on google.com and then you can search for whatever that you want to search for but there is one thing that you should keep in mind first of all this is black and white like the kindle screen it's going to be black and white and second it's very 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 slow you will feel like that you are thrown back in early 2000s and the internet is very slow on this particular browser i don't know why i use 5g wi-fi but still it's like very slow i fast forwarded the process so on video at least it's not very slow but it is the next thing that you should know about is very important export notes so when we are reading books we make notes we highlight quotes sentences whatever we feel like is important and what if we want to see all those highlights and notes in one place open the book you are interested in notes and highlights of tap on three dot icon and then you will find notes and highlights tap on that and notes and highlights tab will appear then you will find an option called export notes then there will be a banner and then there will be an option called cancel and send tap on send and then the email id which is registered with your kindle account will receive an email which will have a pdf and an excel file open the pdf file and there you will see all the notes and all the highlights that you made in that book and you can view all of that in your pdf file that is a very cool thing that a lot of people don't know about the next thing that i loved in kindle OSs is the option to disable touch whenever we are reading a book sometimes we just move our kindle device and then a lot has already happened without our intention to do anything on the screen because of our palm in that case tap on three dot icon and then tap on disable touch don't worry nothing bad will happen you already have the buttons to go forward and backward in your book and then if you want to touch anything you will not be able to do that let me try that for you there's nothing happening my palms are touching and the screen is still very still and if i want to enable the touch again i have to lock my kindle device and unlock it back again and then the touch will be back the next thing that we need to know about is there are many things honestly but let's get started with the orientation now orientation comprises of many things the theme of your book whether it's compact and it makes the text on your screen very small standard which is like the standard and the large one which makes the titles and the text very large and then you have the option to select the font there are many i think there are like nine of them and i like the one which is pre-selected that is bookerly you can also change the size of your text you can change the orientation like you can also read in a landscape mode if you prefer it that way especially since the screen of kindle also is bigger you enjoy the landscape mode and the portrait mode as well so you're not just stuck to one mode because the screen is small and you can also change the alignment of the text in your book you can make it more structured if you want and then there you get more options which are quite bizarre you can see the clock while reading if you want to you can see how you want to see your reading progress do you want to see the number of pages that you have read you want to see the location in your book or how much time is left in the reading of that book and you can also see and get few things highlighted like if while reading book you come across a book name in a book then that book name will be highlighted let me show you how that option is called book mentions i have turned it on so example i was reading midnight sun and while reading i came across this book title in the story which is called sense and sensibility now since the book mentions is on the title of this book in the story is a bit italicized cool trick the next thing that we need to know about is that we can give our kindle cool names not a lot of people are aware about this and i wish that they were so we can go into the settings and we can give our kindle device any name that we want to i have given my kindle device the name which is called rebecca's reading nook because it gives me a very cozy feeling reading and reading nook it just makes sense for me once you have typed in the name in the device name section you can just save it and then your kindle will have the name of your choice good thing so coming on to the next thing which is search what you need 
Okay, so many times it happens, even when we are reading paper books, that we get reminded of a certain quote or a certain word and we want to get back to that page and we don't know how to because we don't know on what page it was. So for example, while reading this book, which is called Midnight Sun, I wanted to search a quote which is called No Blood, No Foul. It is my favorite quote from this book. I went into the search bar, typed that code, and whatever pages had that code are in front of me. Not only that, I also have the option to go back to the page I was on and I do not have to lose the progress. The next thing is a pretty obvious one but still not a lot of people are aware about it. Whenever you're reading and you just want to pause somewhere, you can just bookmark your pages. And once you tap on the bookmark icon, you can also see the other pages that you have bookmarked and you can jump to those pages just from the page that you are on right now. And once you have to delete the bookmark, just tap on the cross icon and your bookmark will be deleted. Okay, so the next one is a very important one. We can read PDFs on our Kindle device. We can send any PDF that we want on our Kindle and we can read it just like any ebook. And it's pretty easy. You just have to go to the settings, go to your account, and there you will see a Kindle email address where you can send those PDFs and then they will be in your Kindle library. But it's not that easy. There is a process behind it. Go to your Amazon account, find where your name is on the right hand side, then there will be a list of options that will come. Tap on manage your content and devices, go to the preferences section and there you have to scroll a bit down. And then there will be an option which will be called personal document settings. When you tap on that, you will have your Kindle settings mine email addresses and everything which is personal information is a bit hidden and when you take a look at approved personal document email list just add your email address to it once you add your email address then only you can send your documents or pdfs from that email address to your kindle address and then only they will appear on your kindle device if you try to send your documents from an email address which is not added here then those documents will not appear on your Kindle device. So guys, that was it for today's video. I hope that all the things I have listed in this video were helpful to you. Let me know that in the comment section below. I will see you guys in my next video. Till then, bye!